Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Just a short video of this. Um, I recently bought uh, one of my hobbies, one of my many hobbies, and uh, I've not brushed on it yet in any of my other videos, is uh, astronomy. Now, since extending my man shed from my original observatory uh, last year, I haven't actually done any, so I'm about a, a year, 18 months before uh, since I've done any astronomy. And I'd sold one of my scopes, which was uh, an 8 inch diameter Ritchie Crescent uh, Altair Astroscope. I was never really that pleased with it. It took a lot of collimating because you could move both mirrors. Um, anybody who knows the scopes will all know that you, can, you, you could move the primary mirror and the secondary mirror, and there was tilt plates and all sorts. So it was never fully comfortable. The one I got rid of to get that was a Celestron um, 8, a C8. Um, and I, I sort of regretted selling that. But I've always wanted uh, a Celestron 9.25 or uh, an 11 inch. So I've been looking out on Astro Ads and uh, finally came across one. It's getting one nearby you. Um, I've come across quite a few bargains. There was one the other day in Bath, which is quite a long drive. But I managed to come across this one <coughs> quite near me. And we, we met up this weekend. Uh, just a few miles from my house and uh, exchanged money and the scope and I'm, I'm now the uh, proud owner of uh, a new to me C925 uh, Celestron. Now the mount I've got is a fantastic mount. Again I'll be going into the, the mount and the other scopes and, and this scope in more detail in a future video very soon. Um, but needless to say this mount it's uh, a Mesu 200. Uh, built by a guy called Lucas Messu in the Netherlands, who gave the best customer service you could ever wish for from a manufacturer. Again, I'll go into that later in the other video. But I uh, just want to uh, quick, like I say, make a quick video this time. It's about um, extra counterweights. Now, because this scope was a, a tiny bit heavier than the other one, I'd maxed out on the two counterweights I had. Now the two weights I got when I bought the scope were this one, which is a 10 kilogram geoptic, nicely chromed thing. But I say nicely chromed, but just bear with me a minute. But you can see, I don't know what you can see. I have, I have had to touch it up with a bit of silver paint in places, and this is in an observatory. The only time it's ever got wetter such as if it's just suddenly started spitting before I've closed the roof um, or with condensation and I've always dried everything after. So it's not a damp observatory. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the shake, heavy weight. Um, so I had one of them and a five, kilome uh, five uh, kilogram geoptic. Again, you can see spots where I've touched it up and there where it's going rusty so the chrome plating isn't that great on them and the price is absolutely ridiculous the 10 kilogram one 95 pounds yep 95 pounds for a lump of chromed metal and the um, five kilogram one 70 pounds for a lump of chrome metal now i just need about another three or four maybe five kilograms of weight um to balance out this scope and i could obviously you can move them up and down the shaft to get the balance exactly right so there was no way i was going to pay another 70 pounds for another five kilogram geoptic weight and the problem is there's hardly any weights commercially available for the Mesu map because it has a, a 40 mil um, diameter shaft, counterbalance shaft, whereas most um, mounts like Skywatcher and that, uh, it's half that, it's 18, 18 mil I believe. Um, the Mesu is, is 40 mil thick, so very, very thick. Now, so I went online, I went on um, Amazon and I found these now these are just normal weightlifting weights and there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of them on Amazon uh, rubberized ones 
metal ones like this, various colours and that. Now most of them have a one inch hole. Now a one inch hole wouldn't be too bad for uh, the thinner shafts. Uh, like I said they're 18mm so you've only got to make up 2mm. Um, which could soon do with the method I'm going to show you soon. Um, but these, obviously, so a, a one inch hole, which are the vast majority of weights, um, wouldn't, uh, won't be any good. But if you look online for Olympic um, weights, so what, what you're looking for is Olympic uh, ones, they have a two inch diameter hole. Now, like I said, 2 inch, that's 50 mil, so it's 10 mil too big for the Mesu counterbalance part, which is 40 mil. So I'm going to have to make up that extra 10 mil with something, and I'm going to use um, a rubber, self amalgamated rubber tape, because I'll, I'll show you that shortly. So the difference in price is four of these. So these are 1.2 kilograms each. Sorry, one point. Two five kilograms each. So five kilograms, which is about the sort of weight I'll, I'll be wanting, will be four of these. Now it's actually better for me like that because I'm probably only going to use two or three maximum, and I'm going to sandwich it between the other chrome weights and spread out the diameter of the bar with some tape. So they'll be perfect, and coming as four separate 1.25 kilogram weights, a five kilograms in total, that including postage from Amazon was seventeen pounds, sixteen ninety nine, as opposed to seventy pounds for the uh, the chrome plated geoptic, which, like I say, the chrome plating isn't the best in the world anyway. Um, if it was outside. A bit full of rust by now because it's only only experienced ever a bit of uh, condensation and, it, and it, it started going rusty and they've never moved from the observatory. So yeah, four of them for seventeen quid. Um, I'll show you the link in um, below, in the description below the video to the uh, Amazon site where I got them from. But if you are looking for yourself a fed, there's loads of different weights on there. Like I say, look for a, an, and you've got a Mesu or one with a, an extremely large diameter shaft look for the um, Olympic ones of course you could get if you've got a lathe or you know uh, somebody who can enlarge that hole you could get the um, the one inch ones and drill it out to a 40 mil but I ain't got a 40 mil drill or a facilities for cutting it or, or a lathe or anything like that by the time I took it to a local engineering works there'd be added costs in, uh, on that as well so I'm going to show you now how, how they attach to the, um, the Mesu mount and uh, show you the balancing of it. Okay, let's have a look at that now. Okay, so you can see um, what I'm padding it out with. I've determined I need three uh, counterweights. So I've got the, the small geoptic 5 kilogram ones. 3 times 1.25 and the ge geoptic 10 kilogram one to balance me uh, my scopes now i'm padding out like i said this is the mesu shaft as you can see it's 40 mil diameter now i'm padding it out with this and it's a self amalgamating rubber tape it's great stuff to have lying around the house or in the car um, it's just like rubber it's just like a pure piece of rubber there's no sticky adhesive or such on it but it sticks to itself so what you do is like you stretch it out as you see I don't know if you can see that but you can stretch it and it's got a backing tape on it here which peels off and you just wrap it around anything hold your hand on it if it's not warm and the heat just like knits it together as a solid block <clears throat> it's great to have in the car for like radiator hoses things like that um, you can make totally waterproof seals around electrical wires before going under underground and things like that. So I'm going to wrap this round now till I've made up that difference, that 10 mil difference. So uh, we'll be back to this shortly. So there you can see the uh, the weights are on. On the inside of these geoptic weights, there is a slight indent 
Now you can see there it's, it's fl absolutely flush up to the shaft but there is a uh, indent so you can leave a bit of rubber a tiny bit of rubber sticking out and that indent will cover it um if you haven't got them sort of weights you could just slice it off with a standing knife the rubber so you get the, the existing weights get close up um again these two with them having the screws on the top i'm able to jam the weightlifting weights in which obviously don't have a screw so if you were relying on them only for your counterbalance weights you would have to think of some other way of clamping them on again you can get quick release clamps on um, on amazon that will clamp them or you could do it with like a, a jubilee clip around there or something like that to book, book them up but you could certainly do it a hell of a lot cheaper way than the absolutely taking the piss 95 quid for that and 70 quid for that when for four of these it's only 17 quid including postage um that amalgamated rubber self amalgamating rubber it's amazing how far it goes um because i did it wrong at first and as you can see it sets like a solid lump like that and you've got to slice it off and I've got quite a lot left. Where are we? Got quite a lot left on the roll, so it's always handy to have. And as you can see, so I'll be going into this in more detail in a future video, but the scope is perfectly in balance. This being a roller drive, this is one of the very very few mounts that use rollers friction rollers as a drive so there's absolutely no backlash like there is with cogs um, and gears but you can't just swing it around like you can the average mount once you remove the clutches i mean most mounts they have like a clutch lever a clutch mechanism that once you've uh, loosened that it's as free as anything for balancing but there is some friction in the Mesu mount because it is a roller drive. But you can see as I'm pushing this here, it stays put and it's equal strength to go both ways. And that's, um, I'll give you a quick look now, like I say, I'll, I'll be doing it in a more intensive video later, but there's a, a, a Celestron C925 that little white scope is a Megres William Optics Megres 72 then we've got the Altair um, Altair Astro 102 triplet uh, for deep space stuff and a little uh, guide scope for that and the uh, the fantastic Mesu mount itself it can carry a hundred kilograms, um, including your balance weights, of course. Hundred kilograms visually, or eighty kilograms photographically. So I'm well within them because that balance weight is now that side adds up to what ten, fifteen, and six and a half. 15, 21 and a half kilograms and uh, I'm not sure how much this lot weighs but uh, well within the 80 kilograms total so there we have it that's just a quick way of uh, or sorry cheap way of using some extra balance weights if you've run out of if you've bought the geoptic ones or or whatever but uh, in retrospect I would have just bought weightlifting type belts uh, um, weights and use them okay there we go so uh, there you have it just a, a cheaper way of adding extra weights or even if you're starting from scratch just get some thicker heavier weightlifting type weights and uh, try and work with them uh, by all means get the J-Optic stuff but uh, at a crazy price when you are putting the self amalgamating rubber on it is worth doing it as you get near to the diameter required it's worth doing it one band at a time because like i said it does set like that you can like just a solid lump of rubber and you cannot you can't 
separate the layers hardly. Well, that because it, it, it amalgamates, hence the name, to each other. So um, you can always add to it. Just just do it one band at a time. Try the weight. If it's still a bit wobbly on it, try one more band at a time. And that's a good way of doing so. I'll put, I'll put a link to that and a link to the weights I got, although there's millions on, the, on Amazon below. And like I say, stay tuned for a proper sort of tour I'll be doing of the man shed. I'll be going through uh, the building of it, the building of the original observatory behind me, um, which was 13 years ago, something like that, and the extension to the man shed last year. I'll be going through all the telescopes and everything because I'll be getting back into the uh, astronomy very soon. And uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll, it'll interest you. See you again soon. Bye for now.